How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out the location of all six hit pouches in Resident Evil 2 Remake. So just to recap real quickly, each of the hit pouches upgrade our inventory slots by two spaces each. Apart from obviously being very useful for simple game progression, it is also necessary to collect all six hit pouches to get the Waste of Space trophy. So with that said, let's jump straight into it. The first of the hit pouches we can get from the West office inside the safe. This is going to be on the first floor of the police station, obviously on the west side of the building. Once we come across the West office, we want to go inside the back room here. And as we can see, the safe is going to be on the far end. The combination to the safe is going to be left 9, right 15, then left 7. I will leave the combination on screen for a few seconds just to make sure you guys can all see it. And inside is going to be the first hip pouch. The second one is going to be shortly afterwards. We can find this one on the third floor of the west side of the police station. To be specific, in the west storage room. This is going to be the room just previous to the first time we access the library. As we can see, it's going to be on the table on the far end of the room, nearby where the explosives are placed. The third hit pouch can be found in the underground facility in the operator's room. This is going to be the first room we encounter with a typewriter save point in it, just after the first boss of the game, as soon as we go underground. So after defeating the first boss, we're going to look out for the first room we see with a typewriter in it. When we find it, we want to open the locker just to the right of the typewriter, and this is going to contain the third hit pouch. Now the fourth one is definitely going to be the most annoying one to collect, and you may have actually come across this one early on in your playthroughs and been wondering how to actually grab it. It's going to be inside the safety deposit room, which is on the first floor of the west side of the police station, but it's going to be inside one of the glass cases that cannot be opened. Because the keyboard is missing two keys, we can't introduce the code we need to to access this hit pouch. So what we need to know is where can we get the two spare parts from, which are the items we need to restore the keys. They are going to be located inside both of the portable safe. First portable safe we can find is going to be on the shower room, which is the second floor of the west building. So once we go into the west side of the police station, we want to head towards the area where the stairs are. Once we're on the second floor, instead of continuing climbing to the third floor, we want to go straight ahead until the shower room. It's going to be the room with all the steam coming out of it. And if we look on the shelf opposite where the steam is, we're going to find a portable safe. I can't directly give you the combination for the portable safes because for each playthrough they're going to be randomized and it's going to be a different combination for you as it was for me as it will be for your next playthrough so it's just trial and error until you open the safe. Once you do open this portable safe it will reward you with the first of the spare parts. The second spare part is also going to be inside a portable safe and this second portable safe can be found on the second floor of the police station inside the linen room. You will need the purple key to access this area. Once we've collected both of these spare parts, we can head back to the safety deposit room, which is on the first floor of the west side of the police station, just opposite the west office. And now we're inside, we can introduce both of the spare parts into the keyboard. And here we need to introduce the code 203, and this should open up the glass case that contains the fourth hit pouch. The fifth hit pouch is going to be in the sewers, so we need to wait until we do have the T-bar handle. Once we do, we want to head back down to the lower waterway and use the T-bar handle to open up the doorway to the workroom. This is the room with the lift in it. We want to go up the lift and as soon as we go up the lift in the next room, we'll be able to see the hit pouch just sitting on the table. Now for the sixth and final hit pouch, we need to upgrade our inventory to max and get the trophy or achievement. It's going to be very close to the end of the game, down on B1 of the lab in the nap room. This is not going to be the first visit to the nap room. We need to return back to the nap room once we already have the signal modulator. And as we can see here on the screen, this time on the signal modulator, we need to use the waves for MUF. So this means open up the signal modulator, examine it, and can configure the wavelengths of the ones we've got here on screen. The easiest way to do this is simply pay attention to where the two dials are on each side and where the markings are and simply put them in the same place as you can see here on the video. Once they're in the same place, we want to use the signal modulator where it's required inside the nap room, and this should open up some secret compartments to the side of the room. Inside one of these secret compartments is going to be the final hit pouch we need to upgrade our inventory to max. So I hope you did find this video helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.